Hi buddy, welcome back to Dredge, episode 11 with me, Sid, and I've had to go back and watch episode 10, because obviously I recorded all of that before I went away on holiday. And now we are back on episode 11, where I believe the last thing we did was get the two of the three lights, uh, three flames, I should say, lit on this island over here and we need to get one more flame lit which is that one and it believe it requires a couple of mutant fish so probably the easiest way to do this apart from trying to remember how to play the game This, there's one. That's what we need. There's two. No, no, there's not two. That's they were just ordinary fish. That's still just an ordinary fish. Learn your fish. There we go. That should. I think give us two mutant fish which we can try and utilize for that uh, thing. Let me just go and sell the ones that we've got. I'm not going to sell everything, I'm just going to sell those and try to learning all of the uh, keys again right I would like banish to be my now if I remember rightly it was in here wasn't it how Where was it? I think it's up near the big old fish up there. I think that's where I'm... I might regret this, but... Where was it? Oh, I can't. Okay, I need to... Yep, 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 okay. Uh, he... Oh, God. <laughs> that did not work very well, did it? Uh... Okay. Uh, right, we need to revisit this, don't I? Hmm. Let's go over here. I don't think the fishy shrine is that bothered about the thing I've got. Should have plenty of money as well, so let's have a look. Shipyard. Yeah, I'm well, I haven't got plenty of money, but I've got a reasonable amount. Right, let me get those down there. And let's sleep till the morning. And we're gonna try this again. Okay, and on the dock. Right now, how did I do it last time? Then I remember around. I think I went around the outside. There's old big boy there. He's a big old fella. And I'm looking for something like that. Which is there. No, go away. Right, 
Spanish. So I think we grab that and whatever that is. Encrusted talisman. Okay, to storage. And then I've got me banish on still. Let's go and do this. Now, I've got no idea how much of this game there is left. Uh, I, I do know that I'm close to completing it. I do know that there are two endings. Um, and I... Right. I only intend to run one of the two endings. I think there are multiple endings, actually, but, or, or multiple things and hidden that you know little hoofers so fanatic what do we do the flames are lit uh, the chill of the deep it's come it's come haha <laughs> the top is a black stone arch stacked high there are layers of dark damp what he draws an antique pocket watch from his robes it sways hypnotically in the breeze it's almost yours may it mark the start of your journey and end Still holding the pocket watch in one hand, he clamps the fire and raises his scroll. He begins to chant. He ignores you. The wind picks up, swirling spray. I'm going to say, chanting ground allows her. Freezing blaze climbs his legs. His chanting continues. No pain detectable. Things he lifts his arm skyward. Second laser in the inferno engulfs him. He's barking. It rages for a moment, then abruptly dies away. A cold mist pulls around the floor of the temple briefly before the wind sweeps it into the sea. No trace of the fanatic remains. Inspect the pyre. Oh look, what a surprise. There's a weird little pocket watch. And from there we are going to go uh, in fact no E. To that, not that I don't think this thinks that I, I suspect, had I known where we are, or how close we were to getting that last flame, I may have continued. But uh, deliver the relic. It's a ticking. You have the pocket watch. You take out the watch. It's once frozen hands are now inexplicably twitching with a rhythmic struggle, trying but failing to move forward. You place it in front of the collector. Though it's been some decades since the last lies eyes upon the sounds of its mechanisms has grown no less unpleasant. And with that our collection is complete, I must admit I'm surprised I did not think you had the determination for such a job. Now, with these five relics in our possession, only one thing remains. I suspect you know by now. Know what? It will become apparent soon enough. We must make one final voyage. This time I'll be with you. Okay. Warning, you are into the final issues. Your progress will not be saved. Then do you wish to continue? Yes. One more time. Your progress will not be saved. Do you wish to continue? Yes. Now, I just want to point something out. I'd like you to look very carefully at the door that we're looking at here. The relics are coming with us. We should wait for the fog to thicken. With luck, the seas will remain unaware of our intentions. Waiting for the right time. <laughs> now our destination is the ocean expanse west of the Great Marrow. It's marked on the map. We must not tarry on the open waters, not with such significant cargo. Make haste. Okay, where are we going? We're going there. At night, with all
the badness. Could be out there. We're heading out to this spot here. This is the place. Here, this is where she was taken from us and where we can get a last ring only here and only because of what we've achieved. He opens a book and begins to read aloud. To release a lost one frozen in time, he throws the pocket watch overboard. And the tethered by the chains of the deep, he throws a necklace. Bind them to this world once more, he throws the ring overboard. Open the door to the starry heavens, he slots the key into the lock on the music box and lay the weary world to rest. He throws the music box over the board, his key left unturned. This is eldritch stuff. And here comes she. Now there's been a whole load of references to people together and uh, stuff in the notes. And when you actually start to look at the story behind it, she's our wife. And, or rather, she's the collector's wife. But the thing here is the twist, and hopefully it will be cool. Thank God that's, that is freaky. Um, eventually. Nothing the end now she's our wife we are actually the collector and the alternative ending which I've read about but I'm not going to try and do because it looks like a bit of a hassle and, and again you don't get anything different it's just a different ending is that the doorway of the house is actually a mirror and you're looking at yourself so um, so our journey to get our wife back has raised the leviathan the beastie from the depth and things definitely don't look that much peachy so that was dredge i think this will probably be a short episode but <laughs> Was it a good game? Well, yeah, I absolutely loved it. I think the graphics were great, the gameplay was great, the premise and underlying story were great. It had a lot of interesting implementations and mechanisms of games. Was it worth the money? Um, yes, I probably got in excess of 15, 15 hours, uh, 10 or 15 hours worth of play out of it in total including the non, non grindy stuff so you know just in a sheer of hours it was worth it it was a good game I enjoyed it I, I do recommend if you haven't played it play it uh, of course if you've watched it this far spoiler alert <laughs> but um, that was stretch that was our little holiday episode this is just the last episode wrapping that one up you know me I like to finish what I start if I can some things are unfinishable I suspect Greg Tech may be one of those, but uh, that one will be having this conversation at Greg Tech episode 500 or something, no doubt. But uh, I really enjoyed this, and as a, as a game that covered me for a seven-day holiday, plus a few bits either side, absolutely well worthwhile, and I loved it. So, on that kind of grim ending... Because, of course, the other ending is that we, I think we we end up dead ourselves. So, there's, you know, we just end up in a loop. It's, it's not good. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to say, ta This is the end. No more dredge. Dredge is over. And thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, as much as I enjoyed playing it. And until my next holiday, uh, clue September, uh, that'll be the end of the little mini series. So, thanks for watching. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.